Second quarter about to start at the Western Oval. Fitzroy lead by a point. The Bullies going from right to left. Knockout by Rendell. Gathered for Footscray. A quick kick out of the pack is marked by Brian Cordy. Brian Cordy kicking with the left foot up towards half forward. No mark taken at the back. Ruse tackled by Foster. Footscray, the crumb gatherers, Liberatore. Royal tackled, but he breaks the tackle well. Left foot kick into the pocket. is marked by Athorn now in short sleeves. Cullen it is. Sorry, um, well, I did have that man, Athorn, on, on, on the tip of my tongue. At quarter time, we were talking about number 52. And here we are, number 22, young Cullen. A chance to kick Footscray's second goal. Poor kick by Cullen. It's into the goal square. Rushed through from behind to Footscray by Gary Perth. And scores a level. The inaccurate Bulldogs 1-7 and Fitzroy 2-1. From what I've seen, he seems to get the ball all right, but doesn't really kick like a league footballer. Look at Perth. He's kicked it a mile going both ways. Free kick to Hanabry. Round onto the left boot. Inside half forward. Diving mark. Excellent mark to Rendell. Comes out wide to Richard Osborne, who's drifted way back into defence. Around Rance. High to centre wing. Kapler. Thomas, good pick up. And for a change, the ball is out of bounds on the broadcast side, so we can nearly see them. Right in front of the uh, Fitzroy players race on centre wing. Keane can't get the ball away. Leon Harris on the bottom of it. Umpire Woodhead decides on a bounce. Very important game for both sides. Fitzroy are in the five, but they're only one game clear of the Bulldogs who are in 11th position. Thornton, kick towards centre-half forward, marked by Eppleston, who's doing well in defence for the Bulldogs. He feeds the handball off to Ford. Ford in the centre, streams clear with pace and strength, kicks towards Bull Ford and Beasley. Brilliant football by a couple of young Footscray defenders in Eppleston and Ford. Lands the ball in Simon Beasley's arms and he's only 40 metres out on a very slight angle. And I get the impression that this is going to be a very important quarter for Fitzroy. Yes, Robert, they're not playing well at the moment. Fitzroy have had the better of the duel. Beasley shoots for goal, he's offline, doesn't allow for the breeze and kicks it through for a behind. It's Footscray's eighth behind. They're one goal, 8-14, and they lead Fitzroy 2-1-13. Another mighty kick into play to the front. Hanabry doing well. McGuinness with a touch of pace. Four-hole kick off the left boot. Laurie back to Rendell. Back to Harris, but he had to go back for it. They're in trouble. Purser crashes through. Hand pass up to Royal. Snap for goal. And he's missed as well. 1-9, Footscray. And uh, Footscray kicking themselves out of the game. Thornton plays on, kicks it to himself and gets it to Leon Harris. Harris back to Thornton. Thornton at centre-half back. Into the centre mark by McIver. McIver's wide handball to Osborne. Osborne tries to bounce it. When are these guys going to wake up? The slippery surface is very tricky. Wallace has the rebound. Feeds it out wide to young Cullen. He'll be caught. He is, but he gets the handball away. He's not penalised, but it's over the boundary line when the Bulldogs could have made just a little more of that interception by Stephen Wallace at half-back. Brilliant tackle by Thornton on Cullen. Comes to the back. We'll have a ball up out of this. So Footscray lead by two points, and they've had ten scoring shots to three. Doesn't seem right, does it? Purser over the back, but he tapped it straight to Pekin. And a chest mark here to Brian Cordy, crashed into by McIver, who gives away 15 metres. Brian Cordy at half-back for Footscray. Long kick towards half-forward. No mark taken. 
Crumb gather as needed. Could be McGuinness. Now it's Pekin. Pulls it in. Kick off the ground by Petraglia. Pert. Left foot kick to the wing. Purser on the bottom of it. Can't break clear. A McIver tackle kept the ball in. And umpire Robinson decides on a bounce. It's inside the centre square. About 15 or 20 metres away from the centre circle. Purser again. Once again, he's given it to the opposition, Harris. Comes back to Harris. His hand pass dropped a bit short. Cullen. And well gathered in by Ford. His pass to the forward line is good. Rance. 55 metres out. Hooks it back. Well, I think luck's a fortune. That was a blind kick. Peter Foster took a pretty good catch. But that ball was travelling quickly. Yes, he's got a great pair of hands, Peter Foster. Never really got a chance when he was at Fitzroy, but... Uh... He's certainly produced a good sense he's been out here at Footscray. Chance for the Lions to hit the front. And they're off target as well. Fitzroy 2-2. Two -two. Footscray 1-9. One, one point the difference. That's a point to Footscray. Foster. I beg your pardon. And Footscray lead by three, three points. 1-10. Points. Well, who would have believed that? The conditions out here this afternoon are excellent compared to some of the conditions that you can be confronted with. Kick in by Pert to half-back. Handball wide, Wallace. Can he get clear? Oh, skill. Brilliant football by Wallace. Inboard to Hanaberry. Hanaberry shot for goal. No mark. Over the back of the pack. Laurie. Hard up against the goal line. Long handball. Will it come off? Armstrong under pressure. Gets the kick around the corner. The ball on the wing. Cronin. Rendell taps it on. Falls over. And has paid a free kick. Well, I think uh, Andrew Purser grabbed him by the arm there, Robbo. Well, I think the free kick was there. Well, Bernie's got a boot in both camps today. He's played for both these teams. And Robbo's played for one of them. That could be an interesting call. That is holding the man. And a Footscray free kick. And it's to Tatsaris. A shocker. Randall, left it behind him, picked up by Petraglia. Good kick, Foster a chance. Ruse with him. This will be a great contest. Foster took a long time, and eventually the umpire said, you are holding the ball, son. Free kick to Paul Ruse. Well, he was a bit stiff. He was trying to create play. The free kick goes to Ruse. He feeds it off to Harris. Harris over the top has Osborne, who's been brought up the field. He puts his teammate under pressure, but he goes back and gets the kick. Out towards the wing. Big punch. Chance for the Bulldogs. Hanaberry pushed in the back as he kicked it. Goes to Keane for Fitzroy. Shocking kicking. Chance for Eppleston. He's caught with the football. That's a mark, brother. Being paid. Now play on. Eppleston to Cordy. Fellow halfback. Out wide to Wallace. Wallace a little bit of space. In short, Beasley. Oh, good mark. Beasley. Well, one full forward in the commentary box to a full forward who has the football out on the ground. Wasn't that a great mark? Tremendous lead by Beasley, and uh, he has got a good pair of hands. And that's the only way he's going to beat Gary Bird. He won't beat him with strength. He's got a tremendous lead. And uh, that's, of course, the forward's big advantage against the backman. Making these quick leads, and if they deliver it properly, well, there's no stopping them. Good kick by Beasley. Second goal to Footscray. And they open up just a little bit bigger gap. They lead now by nine points, 2-10. Would you believe? Plays 2-1. And they've been by far the better side right from the word go, really, Footscray. It's a pity that McGuinness kicked poorly in that first quarter. And they've had about four or five easy set shots for goal that normally you could have put down had put down for goals as they're having their shots. Eight minute mark in the second quarter. Persa caught by wind but he gets clear of the tackle. Eppleston's kick smothered. Showed a bit of dash to get back there and will take a free kick. Well played Eppleston. Good looker. From Wanron down in South Gippsland. He feeds it out wide to half back. Brian Cordy towards half forward, no mark taken, Footscray at ground level, 
Poor tackle. And the free kick will go to Royal. He played very well in the state match. His kick out wide fire found Cronin. And Cronin with a little bit of space. Handball. Hanaberry fakes it. Then goes on. Left foot kick into the pocket. No mark taken. Foster and Ruse. Perk and Beasley. And the Fitzroy defenders win out. Holding the ball. Well, Paul Ruse can't believe it. I'd love to have seen umpire Robertson play football. He'd have never got a free kick in his life. And the free kick's been taken by Foster. He runs around, shoots for goal, and has put it through. Go back, says umpire Robinson. And take your kick again. Oh, well, that's the end of that one then, Robert. He won't kick two in a row, will he? Why did he have to kick it again? What was wrong with that? Well, he ran around before umpire Robinson, obviously, had given the all-clear. Now he's blown time on. Foster tries it again and kicks A behind. The crowd roared, but the umpire gave it up. The goal umpire, that was. Here's a free kick again. Yeah, well, Roos went straight for the boundary line. He did think that the boundary line was going to do it all for him. He held the ball and then just placed it on the ground. Osmond at half-back now in the second quarter for Fitzroy. Up to centre wing and McIver drops one, comes back to him, loses it. Tucked up the ground by Clayton. Keane missed it. Brian Cordy went anywhere, but it comes off all right. And Satsaris gets it out, has another chance. McIver over the top of him, gives away the free kick. And Fitzroy, the Footscray have played in front in between opponent and ball. They're winning the freeze, and they're leading on the scoreboard, but not by as much as they should be. 2-11 to 2-1. Tatsaras kick, this time was a better one. It's Leon Harris at the back of the pack, kicks it back towards the wing. Keane gathers well, kicks a long one towards half forward. Chance for the Lions. Kennedy does it well with strength for Footscray. Comes through centre half back. Short pass looking for Petraglia. He can't gather. McIver there for Fitzroy. Gets the ball clear. A tap out. Cullen. Left foot kick is a beauty and finds Royal in the pocket. Royal's kick up towards Beasley and Perth. Beasley in front. Over the back of the pack. Chance now for Rance. He's well tackled. He gets the kick away. And it goes through for a behind. Well, he had to slow down to pick it up. He did, but he's down for I think he uh, also took a little bit of time once he had gathered that ball in, Robbo. You just cannot afford it. Laurie's kick in. Perth there with Beasley. Beasley winning it so far. Purser. Hoists it high. Foster. Oh, beautifully done by Wind. All Footscray here. And Hanabry, who's been starring for Footscray, really, playing just his third game and first this year. Recruited from Old Zads. Inside centre half forward. And at the back, Ruse marks. Quickly off to Osborne. To Clayton, who missed it. Gee, making some mistakes. Wallace. Good play, Cronin. Oh, good chase, Kaplan. Has that boy got some pace? Pekin gets the ball up the ground. Thornton, short of centre half forward. Barwick's hardly had a sniff yet. Or Ford, I think, might have given away a free, but the umpire didn't see it that way. Now it's a Footscray free kick. And here's Hanabry again. And really, Footscray have led Fitzroy to the ball right throughout this first half. They're looking very lethargic, Fitzroy. They've got nothing out of Barwick and nothing out of Osborne. Hanabry's kick to half forward. Rendell at the back. He's always looking for the handball. He's nearly caught by Royal. Gets clear and left foot kick high. Centre half forward. Tatsaris, Fitzroy struggling, Clayton, one of his rare possessions, into the pocket. Chance for the Lions, they feed it off to Kapler, here's a goal coming up to the Lions, Thomas will run into the square, and he kicks a little short one through, but it's still a goal, and Fitzroy struggling, but they're within five points, they're 3-1-19, puts grade 2-12-24, and we've played nearly 15 minutes in the second quarter. And there's no doubt that uh, they don't deserve to be this close to Footscray. Here's a good player, Kepler, who's showing a little bit of class today. Great right. play by Stevens to get it to him. That's right, it was too. But, uh, the other South Australian, former South Australian, Keith Thomas, makes sure of the goal. Well, 
well, surprisingly. Nothing in it on the scoreboard. Eppleston from a very crowded pack. A oh, fine mark for Pekin. No, not quite. Foster off the ground. Still with Peter Foster. Now the umpire calls for it and will ball it up. Umpire Brian Woodhead. Just on the white line of the centre square. Purser wins a good tap. Rance. Loses it in the tackle. Goes to Kapler. He can go a mile. And he'll get there in about half a minute, the way he goes. Well, they still continue to try and bounce the ball. He's a little fortunate. He's going to get out of it. No, he's not. Cullen intercepts. The young fellow for Footscray. Long kick towards full forward. No mark taken. Royal. Ruse there for Fitzroy. And Ruse keeps it in. Umpire Woodhead decides on a bounce. And a few happy Footscray supporters. Inside 50 metres. Fitzroy. Laurie's kick is smothered. Leon Harris. Foster throws himself on the ball with tremendous desperation. Pat on the back from Liberatore. And the ball at set a half forward for the Bulldogs. They lead by five points. He's played really well all season and the last uh, three or four weeks at centre half forward, Peter Foster. Doing well. It's taken away by Thornton towards the outer wing. Thomas is there out number two to one. Tatsaris to Persa. Footscray looking pretty good. Long kick by Andrew Persa. Pekin's back there to mark at half back flank. Tim Pekin further forward to the wing. Mark taken by Persa. Doing well. Short kick. Marked by Pekin. Kick to kick. Pekin into the centre. Here's a chance for Fitzroy. Armstrong up towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Footscray defence playing well. Cordy. Out wide to the wing. Looks for Purser again. Purser doesn't let him down and takes the mark. Gee, what a minute of football he's had. 15 metre penalty against Thornton, who was over the mark. Andrew Purser to centre half forward. Foster and Ruse. Comes out Fitzroy's way. Harris. Wide open forward line. Only about three players forward of the centre. Tap back by Stevens to Osborn. Oh, great tackle. Magnificent by Hanabry. Gee, he looks good. Stevens caught holding the ball. Well played, Footscray. Good pressure. That's tremendous pressure by the Footscray defence. Really, the, the forward line was so open, and it really looked like it was a fantastic chance for the Fitzroy team to score a goal. But they really tackled well. Hanabry, in his first senior game this year, 13 possessions. Tremendous effort. And there's been big raps on him for a year or so coming from the amateurs. Umpire Woodhead in control on centre wing, member side of the ground, Purser. Knight for Fitzroy can't break clear. And umpire Woodhead decides on another bounce. Barwick on the interchange bench for Fitzroy. Purser looking for the big thump and he gets it clear. Royal bounces off the tackler. Keen. Can't break clear. Now a chance for Leon Harris. On centre wing. A short chip shot over the top. No one can mark it for Fitzroy. So Harris goes after it again. Tackled by Cullen. McIver. Handball underground. Petraglia. Armstrong. Thornton will be rewarded with his courage by a free kick. And Thornton. You can hear David Parkin quite clearly in the coach's box here. Not too happy with the umpires. His Barwick breaks clear. We thought he was on the interchange, but he's not. His kicks landed in the hands of Stevens, only 25 or 30 metres out directly in front. It would nearly be Barwick's first kick. No, he's had two. A pretty quiet first half of the state prep. Yes, he's had a couple of quiet weeks, Doug Barwick. Also, Richard Osmond, they've got nothing out of him. You need a lot more from both these players to really have a chance. Because apart from those two up in the forward line, they have not got a lot of players who can kick goals. And second goal to Stevens. And Fitzroy have hit the front by a point. 
five scoring shots to 14, and they lead on the scoreboard. Yes, and they should never be in front. Really, Footscray have just wasted so many opportunities. They've been by far the more aggressive side. They've led Fitzroy to the ball right throughout this first half, and yet they're a point behind on the scoreboard. Twenty minutes into the second quarter is a chance for Royal. He's dispossessed Kapler. Can't break clear. There's a chance for Petraglia. A quick kick high in the air. Punch on. There's a good one by Cronin. Foster goes through. He can't break clear. A scream of ball by up by uh, the Fitzroy coach David Parker. It was only a matter of 10 or 12 metres away from our commentary position. But umpire Robinson giving a few players a lecture as he prepares to bounce the ball between the centre and centre-half forward, favouring the Bulldogs. Very congested. Barwick can't get his third kick. That's almost thrown out by Knight. Play on, Harris. Intercepted by Brian Cordy. It's a great play for Fragnia. Back to Wallace. Good pass, Rance in front. And the mark paid. Too far out to score. Although the breeze is right at his back from there. Beasley led down the ground. He went longer. Great mark, Foster. Yes, definitely Foster's mark. Bruce is trying to cut the umpire. But he's not having any of that. Come on, Rusey, you know. I don't think it was a mark. Ooh. If it was anyone's mark, it was the man in front. So Peter Foster lines up a goal from right in front, 25 metres out, and puts through his first goal. One goal, two to him, and Footscray rests back to the lead. Well, looking at that replay, Robbo, I think you may have been right. Rusey was the man in front, and uh, they both had their hands on it. But surely you should play the man in front in this instance. Here it is again now. Well, Rusey only had one hand on it, but... Well, even if he has one hand on it, surely it's not enough to pay the mark to the other guy. I think it would have been play on or ball it up would have been the right decision. But Fitz Footscray lead now by five points. We're 21 minutes into the second quarter. It's a chance for Leon Harris up towards half forward. It's punched away. Thomas crashed to the ground. Illegal tackle. Cheers from David Park and he plays on. Kicks it to centre half forward. The ball comes clear. A chance for Hanaberry. He's interfered with over the shoulder, according to the umpire. And Hanaberry will come in for his 14th possession. Approaching time on in the second quarter, Footscray lead by five points. Gee, they're in the depths at the start of the season, losing their first three games, but they found some players. By Mark Capersa, who's had a great quarter. Out he goes, and the kick up towards centre wing, and diving Mark to Murray Rance. And 15 metres. Rance off the left boot to centre half forward. Foster and Ruse. Ruse this time, no doubt. 15 metres. Where he plays on quickly, doesn't use it. Armstrong into the centre. Mark taken by that man Hanaberry. Plays on quickly. Poor handball, but it's well smothered. McGuinness tries to crash his way through. Pekin forced to kick quickly out towards the wing. Cordy in front. Liberatore forward. Short little chip shot. McGuinness feeds it off to Hanaberry again. 16 possessions. Beasley can't mark. Chance for Royal. Can he break clear? Yes. Handball wide. Cullen. Kick it quickly, son. He does and misses. Well, he ended up on a pretty tight angle there. Leon Harris was closing in on him all the time. Here's Royal. Did well to get away from Armstrong. The handball looked on in the first place, but here's Leon Harris closing in very quickly. Kick in has been marked by Knight, only just close to the boundary line at halfback flank. Perso mark, or rather, Rendell marks in, Perso, in front of Perso this time. Towards centre wing. Huge pack here. Foster goes the punch, and the ball out of play on the Doug Hawkins wing. Tremendous clash by, uh, between Foster and Ruse. Foster playing centre half forward for the Bulldogs, and Ruse in his customary centre half back position. Purser takes the ball out of the air from the throw-in. He's been paid a free kick. Why? I don't know. Too high. Too high. Andrew Purser 
playing his 100th game for the Bulldogs since coming over from Western Australia in 1984 and backing back into the pack, a tremendous mark by Paul Roos. Centre wing, Pekin gets it to Randall, good tackle by Purser. Royal to McGuinness, back to Andrew Purser. He had top quarter. A long kick, Beasley and Perth. And in front, Roos, oh, that was brilliant. Back to Thornton. They cut through a few of them, puts it out wide to the wing, too wide, and out of play. Well, I don't know if there's much left of the bench in the coach's box here, but uh, it's been an interesting quarter from David Parkin's point of view. A boundary throw in, Purser. Free kick being picked out of it. It's going to Mackay before Fitzroy. Umpire Robinson officiating. And McIver kicks the ball towards centre-half forward. No mark taken. Where are the crumb gatherers for Fitzroy? Free kick being paid against Footscray's Hannaberry. It'll go to Knight. And Knight with the football between the centre and centre-half forward. The player, Cullen, came from behind the mark. Inexperience. And a 15-metre penalty will bring Knight to the centre-half forward position. He kicks into the pocket. No mark taken. Kennedy with strength, gets the handball to Tatsaris. Tatsaris under pressure, fumbles at the crucial stage, goes after it again. Can he get the handball out this time? No. Stevens in the back against Fitzroy and the Footscray back pocket player, Zeno Tatsaris, will take the free kick as Graham Osborne prepares to come on for the Lions. Good distance, Tatsaris. Laurie underneath the ball, Cullen a good hand pass, and going past is Cronin, up towards half forward, Beasley screaming down the ground in front of Perth, bowled over, free kick they shout, not paid, off the ground by Thornton, great pick up, towards centre half forward, all foot grey here, and Ford did well, at uh, least one player who bounced it and it came back to him, very wide to half forward flank, Foster, he's holding the ball, uh, the umpire said hill to him, and it'll be balled up, and Knight coming off the ground for Fitzroy, Graham Osborne on. Half forward for the Bulldogs, Foster to Liberatore, his kick around the corner's a good one, but it's been marked by Pert, plays on, no-nonsense football by Gary Pert, out towards half-back, the high flyer, McIver can't mark, Liberatore, handball over the top, McGuinness is in the van, good interception, oh, he comes back to McGuinness, shoots for goal, hit the post. Well, it was swinging back all the time. But unfortunately, another behind to Footscray. It's their 14th. They're 3-14, 32. And they lead by seven points. Graham Osmond for his first kick. Straight up the ground. And it's Clayton uh, interfered with. But no whistle. Comes back to Clayton. With Cronin. And the umpire will ball it up just outside the centre square. And Fitzroy bottling it up a bit like they did last week in the Carlton game. Throw a blanket over about 25 players. Rendell, Wallace on the bottom of it. Rendell again, kick off the ground by Cullen. Royal, at centre half forward, kick around the corner. Punched away by Pert. Leon Harris doing a tremendous job for his side. Crash goes McGuinness down. Thornton the tackler. Ball goes clear. Osborne up towards half forward. McIver can't control it. Tatsaris there for Footscray. Pat on the back by Brian Cordy. Half time. Footscray lead by seven points. The Bulldogs 3-14. Yes, it's three goals. 14 Footscray. 32. Fitzroy 4-1-25. Goal kickers for Fitzroy, two to Stevens, one each to Keane and Thomas, and for Footscray, singles to McGuinness, Beasley and Foster. And interestingly, in that quarter, Fitzroy kicked two goals straight, while Footscray kicked two eight 